Hey noobs, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today's video is about modern slavery. First of all, I want to say that a lot of people think slavery ended, at least in America, after the 13th Amendment, after President Lincoln gave the Emancipation Proclamation, but African American 19th century plantation slavery and discrimination against African Americans obviously did not end then with Jim Crow laws and everything else that happened. But this is about modern day, 21st century, people who are enslaved all over the world right now, including in the United States. There are approximately 36 million people enslaved right now. The kind of definition that we use to describe slavery is when someone is forced to work without pay, under the threat of violence, with little to no means to escape. 36 million people, or more, currently living in those conditions. And the industries that they're enslaved in can range from anything from agriculture, to sexual slavery, to mining, to domestic servitude. They're truly in almost every industry. And a lot of the products that we use today, unfortunately, were made partially or completely through slave labor. It's crazy how prevalent and widespread the issue of slavery is and how little it's talked about. So I just wanted to give a little basic introduction to this issue so that you think about it because I don't think most people consider the enormity of this issue. A lot of people remember the movement Coney 2012 which became popular overnight via social media and everyone knew about it, everyone was talking about it, everyone was sharing it on Facebook, on Twitter, and the organization Invisible Children was behind it trying to raise money to stop Joseph Coney. Joseph Coney was forcing children to be child soldiers. Unfortunately, um, a lot of people who donated to Invisible Children ended up finding out that they weren't using their donation funds as responsibly as they should have, and only a small portion of the donations were actually going to the cause. And a lot of other money was going to marketing and paying salaries, and it was just completely corrupt. But it was very important for that issue to be brought up to mainstream media and for people to acknowledge it, because that wasn't an isolated incident. Joseph Coney was not the only person who has forced children to be soldiers, or forced children to be sex slaves, or forced adults to work in forced labor. Another thing that's included in slavery, modern slavery, is hyper-incarceration and the fact that our prisons have a virtually free workforce because they can force prisoners to work for almost nothing and even receive tax credits when they employ prisoners. It just baffles me. So a lot of the issues of slavery are caused by the government and by policies because businesses and people who profit either directly or indirectly from it, they still want it to go on. They still want to be able to profit from people cheaply and that's it's horrible and it's not right. Especially in the media, human trafficking, sex trafficking is talked about the most because unfortunately the news likes to talk about anything that involves sex, including forced sex work. And sex trafficking is a huge, huge issue. But surprisingly, there's actually more forced labor enslavement than forced sexual enslavement. Which is interesting because forced labor practices aren't really talked about as much. It's something like 80% of worldwide slavery involves forced labor and about 20% involves sexual trafficking. But sex trafficking gets a lot more media coverage. There's just a lot wrong with the fact that we really don't discuss slavery even though it's such a huge issue and when we do it's either incorrect statistics or it's sensationalizing things or sexualizing things and it's horrible. There's honestly so much that I could talk about and I'm sure that I'm not covering all the basic foundations of knowledge that you might need to know about modern slavery but I just want you all to know that it is happening right now and it's happening in our country it's happening all across the world it could literally be happening in your neighborhood and you might not even be able to tell a lot of the people who are taken advantage of 
in slavery are people in poverty because they're desperate and someone gives them a job offer and they'll accept it even if it's a little sketchy anything that they can do to assure that their family can be fed and that they can take care of them they'll do and then sometimes they end up enslaved and by then you know it's too late and maybe they're taken out of their home country and they're taken somewhere where they don't speak the language and they don't know who to trust they don't know if they can trust the police in that country and that's what makes it so difficult for them to escape so I'm gonna give you guys some information if you would like to continue learning about this I think everybody should do some research there's an incredible amount of information about slavery and we need to have this conversation you need to tell your friends that this is happening and somehow we all need to get involved to do what we can to help be that donating to organizations or raising awareness and talking to politicians and trying to get policy changes this is ending slavery by kevin bales kevin bales is an amazing figure in the anti-slavery movement and he does so much great research this book is amazing and this is Survivors of Slavery, which is Modern Day Slave Narratives by my professor, Laura Murphy. This is basically compiling dozens of stories of actual former slaves and explaining how they became enslaved, what their conditions were like, and how they escaped or were freed. It's incredible and it's heartbreaking, but it's a great book. You guys can also check out the organization Free the Slaves, which is one of the leading organizations. And there's a lot of information on their websites. And then also there's this National Geographic interactive map that kind of just gives a good overview of global slavery. So you can see where it's most densely affecting the populations. Basically, if you Google human trafficking, sex trafficking, modern slavery, you will find a lot of information, but just be wary of any statistics and facts that you see because a lot of things are misleading or sensationalized and you have to research kind of carefully. But if you have any questions, you can ask me. I'm definitely not an expert, but I have learned a lot by taking this course on modern slavery and it's really made me want to continue being an activist for this cause and raise awareness because that's the first step. We have to let people know that this is even a problem before we can start to address it. Thank you guys for listening, and as always, I love when you guys watch my videos that actually have meaningful subjects. It means a lot to me that you guys are willing to listen to me talk about things that aren't just for entertainment. These are real issues, and I think that we should be talking more about them on YouTube because it's a great platform, and there's more to us than just entertaining, funny, whatever videos. Alright guys. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye!